I'm Sherry. And I'm Elizabeth. Welcome to the Charter Institute at Erskine State Academic Program's YouTube channel. Do you want to be able to better differentiate the professional development for your teachers? And we have a solution for you in SC Lead. From your SC Lead dashboard, scroll down to the left, look for reports, and click on Adapt. From your SC Lead Adapt Reports page, you're going to scroll down until you see Observation Reinforcement and Refinement. Then you're going to click on Details next to that report. On the Observation Reinforcement and Refinement Report page, you can switch your parameters. You can select Observation Inputter, Educator or Observer, and for the Observation Input Type, you can select Reinforcement or Refinement. For this example, we're going to be focusing on Observers for our Inputter, and we're going to be seeing our most frequently occurring refinement indicators. Then, click on Run Report. In this report, looking under the Instruction domain, you can see that questioning was the most frequently reported area for refinement. For this example, we are going to again select Observer for our inputter, but this time we are going to see what are the most frequently occurring reinforcement areas. In this report for reinforcement, you can see under the instruction domain that motivating students was the most frequently reported area of reinforcement. You can also choose to view this report from an educator self-reflection standpoint. This will allow you to see what areas are most commonly identified as reinforcement or refinement within your group of educators. Another option you have in running the report is to filter the observation inputter to all and the observation input type to all. Based in these reports, you can better differentiate the professional development for the teachers in your school based on the highest area of need for your school. Thanks for watching!